Welcome back my fellow makers and foam fanatics. Today we're gonna to make a foam sign. And you're like, what? Like this sign right here. Some people think it's green screen, but it's not. It's actually a physical sign made out of foam. So I'm gonna make one, a new one today. I'm gonna to show you how to do it right here on the Evil Ted channel. Well, the sign today we're gonna to be making is the Foam Fanatics. Now, of course, this is a graphic design I had. I printed it out on some paper, and then I got some transparency and traced it with a fine tip Sharpie, and to take that transparency and put it onto an overhead projector. Uh, I projected it on the wall, got the size I liked, and then traced it with a pencil. And there it is. Now, see, this is the sign and the lettering. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna, um, I want, uh, to, when I make this sign, I'm gonna do the same thing I did with my Evil Ted sign. Uh, I'm gonna be doing two pieces of foam. I'm gonna do the back base um, is yellow and the letters are letter uh, are red, but I'm actually gonna do them as separate pieces. I'm not gonna do them all as one. I'm gonna do them as separate pieces. So this is the base and I like this. So let's tell you what, let's go ahead and trace this first before we start cutting it. 10 millimeter white EVA foam, which will probably blow out the camera here, hold on. All right, we got it. <clears throat> now I'm gonna get some, some one, two, three blocks to keep it in shape. Uh, I'm going to trace it with a ballpoint pen, I think. Ballpoint pen works so well on foam, just rolls on it. We got that. And there's the outline. Go ahead, since we have this base cut out first. Now with the craft knife, we're gonna cut these letters out. But what I wanna do is I wanna number them in order. And the reason I number things is you think, well, once you cut it all, you'll know where everything goes. And just to make it simple, sometimes like, which F is this? Is this, is this F goes here, that goes up. So it's just good to number things. We'll number them. So here we go. We got one, two, 11, and 12. All right. Now if they're numbered, right here, all right, go. All right, there it is. That's one down and 11 to go. That's... See what, just to make it easier to deal with, let's get some scissors. Let's just go ahead and cut this out. And everybody, if you have not gotten one already, stop torching yourself and get yourself a control sharpener. You can take a blade, utility knife, and you can sharpen it right back up again because nothing dulls a blade faster than soft foam. Why? I don't know, it's crazy. It's still sharp enough to cut your skin, but dull to cut foam. So, when you're cutting soft foam, it has a tendency to dull, go dull quick. Because all those little details and nooks and crannies, this is definitely going to be cut with a, uh, a craft knife. Well, let's get a new blade, shall we? Frisker blade handle holder. All right, here we go. Now for all these jagged edges, it's definitely easier with a craft knife, so. And again, it's great to have a cutting mat on the table. There you go. Okay. And there it is. We got our silhouette. <laughs> Took a little longer than I expected. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the letters. This is F. Let's hold this guy right down like that. And trace it. And I'm using a fine tip Sharpie on this. Okay, that's one and I got 11 to go. All right, we have the letters. And now I'm definitely gonna cut these guys out on the bandsaw, but I find before we do that, let's go ahead and separate these because it's gonna make this a lot easier to cut on the bandsaw. Now we have our letters ready. Let's go ahead and take these guys over the bandsaw and cut them out. Okay, the letters are all cut out. Now, of course, there are little, some little jaggedy edges and fuzz on it. 
And I think a quicker way to clean these up would be to take a propane torch, which I have right here. And I'm just gonna hit the edges. It's a little trick I learned working at the shop. Now this is not EVA foam, this is actually L200. So it's a little bit more difficult to sand because it just gets getting fuzzier. So I'm just gonna take some fire. And just, yeah. And hit the edges and that will clean up all little fuzz balls and things I have here. Okay, I torched all the edges. They're all nice and cleaned up. Uh, the one thing I'm noticing too, is just why I don't like having my foam stored in a roll because things, they're just not laying flat, they're curled. So we have to go through and uh, heat these guys up and make sure they stay flat. So I got my heat board so I don't warp my table. All right, the letters are all nice and flat. Looking great. So let's move on to the base. And there's our base. Of course, I did the same thing. I hit the torch on the edge, hit it with a heat gun so it lays nice and flat. But as you can see, the foam is its still kind of wobbly. So what I want to do, I have a piece of foam core and we're just going to use it as our base. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, all the way to the edges, I'm just going to trace the rough outline of this. Where's the pencil when you need one, right? Okay. And I'm just going to get a rough outline because my plan is I'm gonna take the foam core and just cut it back a little bit from the edges to keep the edges nice and clean with the foam. But I just need to keep the uh, the shape of the foam stable so I can hang the sign. All right, there we go. All right, now with the Sharpie. There is a hole on the uh, foam finax. it's right here. And that's where it falls right there. So that spot needs to be cut out as well. So where this guy is in here. Now we have this, let's go ahead and cut it out. Okay, the foam core base is cut out. My foam piece, I think the best way to glue is to go ahead and flip it over. So we can line up in the behind so everything falls exactly where it needs to be. See, like, perfect. So there, I'll stabilize it. Got the clearance for the hole. This all looks good. So what we'll do, my hot glue gun, we'll glue it in the center here and then we'll flip it over for the tab. So let's do that. So make some spots we know we can line up on, right? Get my line up spots. Okay, the hot glue gun is hot. Let's squirt some glue right in here. Line up on my lines. Press. Now, it allows us to flip it over. And we just lift up the spots that we don't have glued down. All right, look at that. See, now it's stable, good sign. Let's go ahead and move on to our letters. I cut some uh, some foam core and added some double adhesive tape to them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel it off like so. And this will allow me to take our letters and stick them on. And I find that when, make sure when you're putting them on, you wanna kind of keep them overhanging says so you want to be able when you're spray painting you want to be able to get the edges as well so when you're sticking these things down kind of think about when you're spray painting um you just need just enough to hang on so you can get paint all around the uh, areas another thing too when you're sticking things pay attention because <laughs> i'm realizing uh you don't want to get it the other side around um i realize this is the i can see the sharpie this is, was the front of the lettering so it goes here okay we have all the letters mounted onto our pieces of foam core strips uh, make it easier for painting, but I would like to prime them first, put a thin layer. I mean, it's foam and the spray paint will take, but I want to get a nice finish on them. So I have some um, Hexplex in the shop 
and I'm gonna use this as a base to do two things. I'm gonna put a little bit of a base color on it and I'll put a little bit of a skin coat. And I can do seal it and put a color, put my first color base down. And thank you, Hexplex, for the uh, the sealant. Okay, the uh, Hex Flex is dry. So we're gonna take this over to the spray booth. I'm gonna lay down some uh, Rust Oleum 2X Red. So take this to the spray booth. While the uh, red letters are drying, this is the foam base. I'm gonna do the same thing. We're gonna use uh, just a Mod Podge on this guy. Let's pour a little bit in a cup. I'm gonna do a thin layer. And I'm really kind of focusing on the edges and stuff. Now, I have people, you can take the paint itself and spray right under the foam and it will work, but the foam has a tendency to suck up the paint. So I always find it's better just to put a little something on it because the end results will make it look a lot better and more finished. Okay, the um, Mod Podge is dry on our base. And of course, I took the time and went ahead and glued a uh, <laughs> stir stick on it. So when I paint it, I can hold this. And I got paint on my hands. So we're going to take it to the spray booth and we're going to use some Rust-Oleum 2X Yellow. Okay, yeah, while the yellow paint is drying, we have our letters here. Now, I realized something when we put these guys down. Um, in order to peel them off, I realized that sometimes the paint will peel. So you want to take a craft knife like I have right here and just break the edge a little bit because sometimes if you go to peel this off, it might take some of the color paint with it. So I'm going to make sure I cut that first and start peeling this up a little bit. But that double stick tape is pretty strong. So uh, the double stick tape is working almost too well, but I have an idea. This paint's pretty dry, so I want to get the adhesion off. So let's get a brush and some alcohol. And what we'll do is we're going to apply some alcohol on the uh, the double stick on the backside here. <laughs> that double stick is pretty strong. What I recommend is don't use as much as I did. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> I would recommend next time doing the foam core strips and using super glue, not double stick tape. Uh, I use double stick tape for plastics and things like that. I totally forgot, so I pushed this up down. Uh, if you can see right here, it tore the foam. Luckily, I was used to use some uh, alcohol to get them off, but um, don't do that. <laughs> Just use uh, a little dab of super glue, it would work fine. All right, guys, these are all done and dry, so let's go ahead and bring in our yellow base. And our stencil. Yeah, see, this will help us glue our parts on. Let's start with an F. Oh, that's not the F. See, this is why it's good to have that. Here's my F. That's the F. A little super glue. Good. Get our O, which is... Okay, our last one right there. Mm -mm. It's so funny, now looking at this, I realize that um, I think these guys here are supposed to be holes like this one. And somehow I overlooked it, but not the end of the world. Now everything's glued down. I have my paper template, so we're just gonna go ahead and just tear this thing out. There is our foam fanatic sign. Well, we're almost done, but not quite. So what we do is we need to uh, put some uh, hanging mounts for it. This paint job's a little fresh. I don't want to dirty it up, so I'm gonna lay a... Uh... I got some wet poster board here, I'm gonna lay it down. 
There we go. Like that. All right. Uh, I took some baling wire, made some little hooks here. So we're going to glue them down. What do you want to do is you want to glue them up. I want to kind of hide them behind the sign. So let's mount one here on the foam core. Right about there. Silicone pads, smash that guy down a little bit. Yeah, I want this sign to hang a little bit flush. So I will do the same thing the other side over here. Right there. Good. There you go. I just like using the silicone pad. It makes it nice and flat and clean. So now we have that. I have these little hooks. I got. I think I got these from IKEA. Hang on. I got some really good uh, heavy duty uh, th black thread, and you're going to go ahead and tie them to this, and bring up to any desired length, and tie these on. You can hook this guy anywhere. So let's do that. And there it is, Foam Fanatics sign. <laughs> the Foam Fanatics is the name of a Facebook group I started years ago where cosplayers, young and old, new or experienced, where they can share their work, tips and techniques on how to work with EVA foam. If you would like to join the uh, Foam Fanatics, go to Facebook and when you submit, be sure to answer the two questions. By answering the two questions helps us minimize the bots and the trolls. If you like this shirt and you'd like to get one, I have a link for that below as well. It's a T-Spring tea tea Shop. T-Spring Shop, you can click on the links and get a shirt like this. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe button, click the thumbs up, leave comments below, tell your friends, and go over to my website, eviltedsmith.com, where I have numerous patterns, supply lists, and by clicking on the supply list and watching this video and sharing with your friends helps me keep making videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you back next time right here on the Evil Ted. My sign's gone. The Evil Ted channel. See you soon.